Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the first installment of Real Talk. Dun, 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 dun. No, I'm kidding. As you can tell in the title below, this is the first episode, Real Talk number one, numero uno. Uh, this is the first episode of Real Talk and today we're going to be talking about people pleasers. The people who exploit them and the people who go out of their way to constantly be pleasing other people. So we're literally going to talk about how to stop being a people pleaser. So if you would like to see the pointers that I have come up with through reading and the research and things like that, the pointers that I have come up with that can help stop you from being a people pleaser. Like you need to just start out with these things so that you can just be well on your way to stopping being a people pleaser. So if you'd like to see this video. So before we get started, get comfortable. It might be long, it might not be long. I'm trying not to get it long, so I'm going to only talk about four points uh, that you can do to stop being a people pleaser. But get comfortable, have your tea like me, I'm here, I'm here. So the first thing that we need to look at is what is a people pleaser? What kind of person is a people pleaser? Essentially, if we're gonna break it down into one sentence, a people pleaser is someone who cannot say no. That is in the larger scheme of things. But a people pleaser is someone who just cannot say no. You know, you have that friend though. Or you might be that person who constantly gets asked things by people and you never can say no. A people pleaser will give someone their last hundred rand just to make that person happy and struggle themselves for the rest of the month. That's not a real thing, you know. Being a people pleaser is detrimental, especially at your expense, not at the other person. We're here to talk about ourselves. So if you're somebody who's constantly saying yes, if you're a yes person, you need to know when to say no. And you need to know that you have a right to say no. You have a right to actually say, nah, can't do this today. Can we do it another day? These are going to be the four pointers that I have come up with that I think or I have read on as well that I think are very, very important to stop being a people pleaser. Stop! You gotta stop it. Pointer number one, realize that you have a choice. You need to know that with everything that is asked of you, if somebody comes and says, Kateo, I really, 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 really need you to borrow me 200 bucks because I'm going through this and this and that and the other. And I, being Gatleo, know that I need these 200 bucks to get me through the rest of the month. You have the right to say no, especially when it comes from you. When whatever that person wants comes from you. No, no. If you want to lay it down very nicely and be soft and sugarcoat things, then say, I can't right now. Unfortunately, I can't right now. Can you, can you wait? Stall as much as you can. That gives you a full week to tune yourself in and say, um, I thought I would get that money in, but unfortunately I can't. You need to know that you have a choice in the matter. If your friends want to go out and have a good time one day and they're just like, you know what? We know that every time we go out, we use Katleo's car because Katleo doesn't have a problem with using her car and we will all park our cars and save our petrol because Katleo is very sweet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Because Katleo is very sweet and she doesn't mind driving us around. Meanwhile, the poor Katleo knows on the other side that, you know what? I'm not going to get to work for the rest of this week because we went club hopping all this time. Realize that it is your car. It is your money. It is your petrol at the end of the day. So you have a right. You have a choice to say no. And mm -hmm. Of course you have a right to say no. What the hell though? The second point is know your priorities. Once you know what priorities are, are and which ones are most important to you you will it'll make it so much easier to be able to say no so a priority is paying the bills making sure that you've got food in the house or whatever priority is get, making sure that you have your textbooks so you're not going to party because you need to buy your textbooks your textbooks are really really important right once you know what your priorities are hear me once you know what your priorities are 
it's very, very easy to pump the brakes on people pleasing because you know that my budget says that I have 5,000 Rand to pay bills, to do this, to yada yada yada, to yada yada yada. I've already spent 4,500 Rand and I still have three weeks to get me through the month and I only have 500 rand spending money and if you've got friends that go out every single day or every other day you know that uh -uh. if your priorities are in check you know that mm -mm, I might need these for extra unforeseen uh, this 500 rand for extra unforeseen circumstances anything like extra unforeseen expenses you might need that money so you have to know what your priorities are it becomes very very easy to separate what's important and what's not Point number three leads me to talking about that no. Learn to say no without conviction. Do not be afraid or ashamed to say no. You have the right to be able to say no without any conviction. Don't ever be apologetic for saying no. If it doesn't feel right for you, if it doesn't make you, if it's not the right choice for you at the time, if it's something that you just physically cannot do, learn to say no. Because the moment you start saying no instead of I can't, instead of um can i see or instead of all those things the moment you actually learn to say no it becomes easier to say no over and over and over and over and over again this is your life at the end of the day you need to realize that those people you're there for you okay those people might not be there in your times of need those people might not be there when you need a friend to lean on or when you need someone to cover your back with whatever or when you need money or when you need whatever you need to realize that at the end of the day, you got to have your own back. So at the end of the day, just make sure that you are responsible for you. Learn to say no with conviction. Be serious about it. Katla, would you like to go out tonight? And you know, I thought maybe we could go out and have drinks. Um, no. The last thing is, the fourth and last thing is consider if it's worth it. If it's worth it, fine. You might, you might want to try and people please, if you want to call it that. If it's worth it. If somebody comes to you and it's somebody close to you and it's your aunt maybe and your aunt is going through the most and you want to help your aunt out, then fine. If it is worth it for you and you know that you're not putting yourself in any immediate detrimental danger, then that's fine. You can make sure that you help your aunt out or whatever. But consider if it is worth it. If it's not worth it, then why do it? If it's not worth it, then why spend time with people that you barely know just for the sake of uh, looking good on social media or spend time with people you barely even know just for the sake of growing your platform or spend time with people that you barely know just for the sake of, you know, saying that you have friends. Is it worth it? No. I'm just saying. That's all I think you need to be able to do. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. This is the first edition of Real Talk. Let me know if you like this. Please comment, please like, please subscribe. Please share this with somebody that you feel is a people please and needs to get that shit out their system. Let me know what you would like to see next from Real Talk. This will depend all on you because I can only come up with so many conversations, but this was something that someone asked me to speak about and I did that and yeah, I hope you like the segment. There's also going to be a segment called Real Answers, which if you have any situation or, or um, something that you're going through that you would like me to respond to on the channel, of course, with complete full anonymity, then let me know and I will talk about it in Real Answers. But this has been Real Talk number one. I am going to go now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.